She's only known for producing and being on bangers. No mash whatsoever. We're talking about the first lady of pop and dance music in South Africa. She's in the building with us right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Tamara Day. Welcome, Tamara. Uh, listen, we, is she on there? She's on. Welcome Am I on? To, welcome oh. back. Welcome to the new studios. Thank you. Uh, I was just saying how beautiful it is. I see uh, you were admiring our stage. Yes. I'm upset that you didn't come and perform on if it I today. If I see a stage, you know what must happen. <laughs> I'm upset you that you're not doing back. that. Have you to. have to make a return please, with that performance. Please. Absolutely. <laughs> I would Absolutely. love to come and rock the stage. Firstly, the color. This, I mean, the pink <laughs> is fabulous. I'm glad you love it, man. I'm yeah. glad you love it. We love Promises. We love all Thank your music. You. We're actually playing exclusive just now. Yay. Let's go back. Let's go back a bit. Yes, yes. Let's talk about your involvement with Sampra, how they've been involved in your music career. I yes. think we've all known your name as far as dance music in this country is concerned yes. for a very long time now. Yes. Sampra, how do they play a part in all of well, this? Well, um, I, I recently started to work with Sampra in a new way. Um, uh, I, I saw that they were advertising, um, you know, assistance for artists and I looked into it upon the recommendation of a friend and um, you know I've had a, I've, I've been a member of Sampra for quite a while but I you know um, post pandemic I mean I just found this I, I was really excited by this concept you know uh, the art arts need all the help and support you know we can get and I love what Sampra are doing I reached out to them to help me fund some of the recordings that I'm doing at the moment Amazing. and they jumped on board and have assisted me um, with the recording of this EP they they're basically covering uh, with their help. I've been able to take my current project, um, you know, to an, a, a world-class studio. Um, and even though I'm sort of an independent artist, you know, that has a licensing deal, I'm, I'm, you know, recording all of that uh, music, you know, on my own with my team mm. and funding a lot of it myself. And so um, being able to take it to an amazing studio like Jazzworks and have it go through a world-class um, mixing and mastering process is a game changer, you know, for mm. any independent artist. And mm. um, and uh, and so being able to take the project onto that level with their help has been uh, phenomenal. And I'm so grateful. And I just love what they're doing. You know, artists can reach out for support when it comes to touring. Mm. Um, you know, we don't all have that kind of money lying mm. around mm. to get ourselves out there and get to the places and the crowds that that need to see us live you know Absolutely. um you know uh, we all want to go and play you know abroad as well and and there is this incredible support out there so um i'd encourage if you know every young artist to go and have a look and uh, you know if you're releasing music make sure you're a member of sampra and and go and see you know there's there's help and assistance out there and um and uh, i've been you know so blessed i've gone through the process myself so so I'm speaking from experience and um, yeah, just just wonderful that they are supporting artists in the way that they are. I love that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've been consistent over the years in the game for like about 20 years yeah. or so. Yeah. You've jumped in between genres. At some yeah. point, you were the first lady of Guaito, yes. the first lady of Beautiful dance and years. pop. Yeah. What has been your secret to staying on top of your game for all those years? I think my biggest secret, and it's no secret, I'm just a fan, you know, before mm. anything else. I'm just obsessed with music. And I think staying connected to music in that way as a fan before mm. anything else and not getting too sucked into being the artist mm. keeps me connected to music on a root level. It keeps me connected to, to what's happening now. It keeps me excited. It keeps me making and creating music all the time. And so that fuels this thing, this sort of train that I can never get off. Like I'm just, I'm on it forever. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm already, you know, as I'm finishing a project, I'm already on the next one. I'm on the I next tomorrow day sound yeah. or Already. I like that. I know exactly what I'm doing next um, and I'll always keep reinventing it because there is always new inspiration out there. Mm -hmm. There's a new language. There's a new way that we move as a culture. Uh, it, there's so much to be inspired by. And so that keeps me hungry and keeps me moving and keeps me evolving. So I guess that evolution and just never kind of and never stopping that evolution and always being open to growing, expanding, collaborating, you know, um, excited by, you know, uh, you know, the newer generation making music and what they're bringing to the game. Mm. Um, and yeah, it just, 
that that's what keeps me going. Your man. positivity for the industry and love for music is so infectious, and I love the way oh, that yeah. you describe it. I <laughs> yeah. think to have a long career like you've had, because you've been at the top of the game for a very long time, requires that. But also, like you're saying, man, I love how you talk about the reinventing, the yes. evolution, the adapting. A lot of people stay stagnant; they don't yeah. want to change or get mm. with the times. And I love how we've heard you collaborate with several different people, yeah. and it's always a different tomorrow day that I'm hearing. I'm like, yes. okay, okay. I've never heard yeah, that look, side think, of you before. I think at the, at the core of everything is dance music, mm. is house music, mm. is soul, is mm. pop. Um, uh, that is always, I guess, the common thread through it all. If you listen to my music through over the last 20 years, you will hear that that is certainly the common thread. Mm. Um, I think I just got dance music in my veins I and I can't I, I became a DJ this year I mean I saw that on your bio the industry. DJ yeah, and I, was I was like, like really? yeah, no. yeah 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 I did a I did a beginner DJ course at the beginning of the year wow. and then I did a pro DJ course at um, the DJ and Music Production Institute I've just I wrapped that, that up um, I just I've grown up in DJ boxes I've been worked with the best DJs in, in the country some in the world and I just I've always plugged into this equipment that I know nothing about mm. I think I just also we lost Craig from from Flash Republic I'm not mm, sure if you know yeah, of course yeah. and I think I think that just kind of I just felt like I had no time to waste you know not pursuing the things I've always wanted to do Absolutely. Um, and um, extending myself into those spaces creatively and can I tell you don't let anybody tell you it's too late to start something or too late mm. to follow a dream. Absolute rubbish. And I cannot tell you what it's done for my creativity, for my songwriting. It is literally just, I'm like exploding with creativity. And I can only imagine it's what it's going to do insane. for your performances. Yeah. Too. yeah. So singing and DJing obviously was the, the, the you know, the dream. Mm. Um and uh, just just exposing myself to the to the amount of dance music across many genres that I am currently has, like I said, it has had a huge impact on my creativity. Everything from Afrotech to deep house to uh, melodic techno to you sure. know disco house um, to indie dance. I've been like collecting, collect, you know. So. Um, I'm, I, I'm just having the most phenomenal time with it. And I've started playing some. I said to myself, within a year, you're going to be playing, smashing out DJ gigs and singing. And uh, just this month, I've I've been playing my first first gigs out there. Wow. And it has been just wow an absolute wow. joy. So expect a lot more of that. Okay. Um, and it is it is something uh, just special and unique. Come and uh, people must come check it out when they get the chance. I'd love to check Ooh. it out. I definitely would love to check it out. At Look, all. No. And who are you saying? Yes, it's a collaboration with a German band from Hanover called the Planetoids. The Planet? The Planetoids. 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 And I met them at the ARMC, AMRC, ARMC Music Fest, um, music conference earlier this year. Mm hmm and imagine this band all the way from Germany and I are playing next to each other. They play first. I jump up after them and they're playing this like disco house mm, mm, sound. Mm. And my new sound has been this disco house Afro this disco funky, vibe. Yeah. So we were like mm. literally uh, with hangovers the next morning <laughs> in studio. Wow. Wrote Appetite. I insisted they stay a few more days. We wrote another song called So Cool which they're going to be dropping in Germany and obviously here as well, but on their side. Um, sent them on a game drive as well. <laughs> wow. And we all booked them into my friend's guest house and we turned it into like a little makeshift studio. Wow. And uh, uh, we just had them, you know when the chemistry is just... Mm -hmm. Insane. Like a vibe. Yeah. We were just speaking the same language and literally, you know, they literally called me the next morning and just said, can you come in? Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to go over to Germany and hopefully we'll get them back out here again. But... Oh, just what a pleasure to kind of just randomly meet. And you see how music connects Absolutely. connects people and how, you know, these amazing platforms. I think Sam was involved with that <laughs> that conference. But how, how people can connect in this way and magic can be made, you know. I love um, that. Yeah. I mean, that's that's great. I mean, this is a big collaboration for you. New mm. EP coming very, yes, very it's soon. Called, do you want to know what it's called? Yes, What's the please. name? And then also, after you tell us the name... Any other collaborations? What yes, there are. There are. So okay, the EP is called La Musica. La okay. Musica. La Musica. Um, and uh, th that speaks for itself. I've got um, a beautiful track. On La, uh, La Musica, I'm doing solo. Uh, a track called You and I on the project. I collaborate with uh, American singer songwriter Jan Close. Uh, uh, nominated for many awards. Phenomenal singer songwriter. He's based in New York. Okay. Him and I have also collaborated over the years with live shows. Um, we wrote the song on a writing camp with Zion. Oh, wow. So oh, Zion nice. is the other writer on the song. And 
he released it on his project as like an you know uh, an acoustic vibe a, a year or two ago and i've re re recorded it reproduced it with some of my producers and we've done this like a uh, disco house version oh which gosh. i am so excited about so that's happening and there's one more collaboration um and that's with capso who's congolese born uh hip hop artist um we've had a long standing connection i think i i featured on his very first release many years ago and we also wrote the song together a couple of years back and i just couldn't let it go and um phoned him up and said i um i want to redo this for my project rj benjamin jumped on the production side with oh, myself Jay and benjamin. my producer you gary brought out people that that that, that, hey. that have taken the breaks no, <laughs> no I, 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 get them. I go and i get them i'm like come 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 okay. no so rj go jumped on you know he's like the king of soul i mm, mean uh, mm, mm. and also we, he does the most phenomenal string production yeah. so and a lot of the sound that i've been busy with has you know called for some string action but yeah so those are the collabs um the project is dropping in october i'm not going to tell you what date we need to but know. i'm going to say just check on my socials we'll be announcing soon Perfect. uh david gresham are like they're making me hold back on announcing it but any day now so okay, just okay. look for that announcement but yeah beautiful collabs from with bands from around the world and artists from around the world and just man i'm hoping to take uh you know uh, you know all this music and 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 you know jump up on some stages uh abroad all around next the year. world yeah. yeah yeah actually been working on my little italian passport just so we can take some of that south african yes, flavor yes, and show them what we do, do and <laughs> how we do I love that. um and that we've got all the magic over here um and yeah just very excited about the future man it's, no man um, and we're super really excited for time. you i think you know your your passion is felt and mm. i mean i can now literally understand why you've been so consistent why you've been at the top oh, of your game for the past 20 man. years and you're still going for another 20 nah, 50 I'm not going 60 any years <laughs> and also i mean <laughs> not uh, going anywhere i yeah. love how you said the passion is felt but also seen through other artists as i'm thinking of civil artists where i'm like these are tomorrow day's children mm. they're the spawn of <laughs> yes. tomorrow day these ones here. Yeah. Yeah. you can tell that they get a lot of influence from you i oh, mean I love i'm that. sure there's a lot of artists in this country and so do i uh, you know um with my my single promises also it's out but it's coming out as part of the ep package That's you know been i'm Exactly. Yeah. Brenda is like I'm the hugest mm. Brenda Fassi fan and getting to an opportunity to cover that song um and just honor her um one of my favorites I've been singing that song for 20 years whenever I could get the chance and um and just uh what an absolutely beautiful experience to work on it with uh, some young artists amazing uh, musicians and 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 just bring it back into the current narrative mm. because timeless music needs to be celebrated absolutely and there's absolutely. just there are artists that make music that will never go out of fashion and Brent is one of those artists and so is tomorrow yeah. day listen oh, uh, in the words of uh, robert marawa <laughs> next time we're going to have to have you back for an, an hour, hour. Uh, <laughs> as far as keeping up with you your gigs your um, i'm one come see you DJ I know you're going to yeah, be in the living better. room but also in general with the EP coming out where yes, can we find you yes. on socials socials uh, check me out on Instagram at tomorrow day I'm on TikTok as well um tomorrow day official and of course on the other platforms as well just tomorrow day D E Y um I'm obviously I'm you know I'm marketing all my little gigs and performances and DJ gigs and all of that on on my socials so come say hi and um it's going to be a big summer that's all i'm saying i'm here for it i'm beyond it's already starting to pop off as i'm sure you know yeah. mm-hmm. um i'm going to be in cape town in october um at a party called discoteca which i believe it's the first time i'm playing it i'm going to be doing a little tomorrow day set there um that's towards the end of october 28th i think um i'm going to be yeah around i'm going to be all over the country just making magic with you guys and with all the beautiful people out there so Yeah. That's where we'll leave it ladies and gentlemen for those who just arrived it's tomorrow day day with an e for those who wondering how to spell That's it. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This has made my week. Thanks everyone. Yes.